another life cut short in St. Lucia, this time on the plains of the Roseau Valley on Sunday, August 28, 2022. It was around 1.10 a.m. when a barrage of gunshots tore the early morning quiet asunder, bringing death and despair to two families. When the distinct sound of gunfire quieted down, one man was left dead and another had to be rushed to hospital. The deceased has been identified as Bel Air resident Kelvin Polius. His mother, Elizabeth Polius, believes her son's murder was undeserved. He'll come and tell me, Mommy, I never steal, I never kill, I never like do people nothing. He tell me that. But I don't know why. I don't know. They just take him away from me. I don't know. Polius says her son was far removed from the tensions, animosity, and gang culture playing out across the island. However, she says he was no stranger to being targeted by hoodlums. According to reports, Polius sustained gunshot wounds to his head and chest area in the gun attack on the weekend. Come and tell me, thing, eh? if it, like if somebody tell him something, or they, he'll come and tell me. He always talking to me like he was close. He always will come and tell me, you know, talk to me and mommy, this like and that and the other. I tell him, Kelvin, I tell you, I tell already. Him. Then I'm fair, I'm stay by yourself, Kelvin. He tell me, yes, mommy, I'm not in, you know, I'm not looking for a with nobody. The family has expressed grave sadness over the untimely death of a young man they say was full of potential, well-mannered, and well-loved. Polius says her son had a beaming personality and love for family. Kelvin was a nice person. He was nice to everybody. He would come here. When I don't see him like for two days, two days, three days, I'll call him Kelvin, right? Tell me, mommy, I'm there. I'm okay. He will come here. With, he'll play with his little nephew. He'll play them, make them like talk to his girlfriend, make his girlfriend you know, talk. He'll say, look my, look my nephew, things like that. The second victim of the Roseau shooting reportedly sustained a gunshot wound to the chest. He is reportedly in stable condition. Police have launched investigations into the deadly shooting. Solish Alfred, HDS News Force.